Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Chris Maglini. Oh, I've just got back from the school run and it's raining again. It's going to rain all day, but we're not going to be miserable. We're not going to be ill. <laughs> I am ill. Um, I'm still coughing, um, but I'm a lot better than I was. Poor James is now in bed with it, coughing his head off. I've heard him coughing all night, so he won't be at school either, bless him. So I don't know what we're doing today, but we've got to get the dogs to the dog groomer. So I possibly might drive them there because it's raining. I've got another delivery coming from Royal Mail from River Island. Um, it's just terrible when you're at home. You just keep going on the internet, don't you, when you're poorly and like looking at things. And yeah, I may have made, I may have made a few purchases, but I can return them all. So a lot of them I'll probably end up sending back anyway. So it doesn't matter. And then we've got a bit of, um, let me show you. A bit of Rick Astley on the radio. Oh, I needed a bit of Rick this morning. Put radio on. I thought, oh, Rick Astley's on my radio. That's good. So anyway, my dears, let's go in and go and get some breakfast. I can't believe it's raining again. It's a hard life, isn't it? <laughs> There's my breakfast. So I've got bran flakes, an ounce of them, and some chopped banana. So we skimmed milk. It's like my mug. Mug of the morning. Mr. Grumpy, because it's Monday morning. Oh, right, I'm sat here in the chair. I've drunk my cup of tea and had my breakfast. The dog's over there snoring her head off, and I'm sat here thinking, I can't move. It's really cold outside, and I'm really comfy. And I've got so many jobs to do, and I really need to hurry up and get jobs done and get the dogs to the dog groomers. Oh, come on, Janie. You need to motivate yourself. <laughs> right, made it out of the chair. Boring job alert. So we've got boring washing up to do, boring dishwasher to empty, um, some pots to put away, and then we'll sort the dogs out. So let's hurry up. Right, next boring job. Daily out into the bin. So we're off to the recycling bin. Oh, what excitement. Back from the bin. It's really soggy out there, it's not good. So here's another sausage tag I've made. Ta -da! So I've sold this to a lady, I've got to post it to her. So what do you think? This one's a bigger one than the other one I made. She's quite long um, and she's got a bit of French lavender in her so she smells really nice as well. So it's really cute. Off we go. Oh, I've dropped my dogs off at the dog groomers. I drove round because it's wet and horrible. But poor Florence. It's literally so awful. She was absolutely shaking. And I don't just mean a little bit. She was like petrified. It was like holding one of those vibrating toys. She was shaking so much and I feel so bad. But she's only going to be washed and like trimmed and then I'm going to pick her up again. But my poor little Florence, Winnie loves it. Winnie will go all day long. But poor Florence the Chihuahua, she absolutely hates it when I leave her. She's so frightened and it's horrible. So now I feel horrible. <laughs> Bless her. Anyway, she'll be all right. We're not belong. So I've got to get to the post office now to post the little sausage dog. So let's go. Oh, you can't believe it can you I feel like we've done so much already so the dog groomer lady said she's gonna let me know when my dogs are ready so I don't actually know what time I've got to fetch them so I've just got to like wait around so I hope little Florence is all right bless her I've been a bit brave I've just tested a bit of this perfume on my wrist uh, my wrist is still alive <laughs> um it doesn't actually smell too bad I thought it might really stink but it doesn't it doesn't smell amazing but it doesn't smell horrible you can kind of tell it's it's old perfume but it does smell all right so yeah so that's my little bargain from yesterday my vintage now myself up a coffee i think this is the perfect mug 
I wish I was going shopping, but I'm not. I'm playing nurse to James because he's really poor, you know, like Ruby was and like I was. And oh, so please send us all some get well wishes because this germ, it just seems to be stuck at my house. It's nearly half past 12. The groomers still haven't rung me. I do worry my animals are like my children as I'm sure a lot of you appreciate if you've got animals and I'm like thinking oh my god how much longer they've been two hours so fingers crossed all right and fingers crossed they ring me soon and also I don't know whether to have my dinner or wait till I've been to fetch the dogs because it's like one of those situations isn't it if I start cooking getting my dinner ready they'll ring me so I think just hang on a little bit longer then you can have your dinner we'll see so come on dog groomers I want my dinner and I want my dogs back Five, nearly five to one. Still no call from the dog groomers. So I think I'll give it to like one o'clock and then I think I'm gonna ring them because I want to know they're all right. I decided to have my dinner before I ring them. So for dinner today, I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes and mackerel in olive oil. So I'll have to enjoy my dinner. I'm in the car. Right, so I've rung the dog groomers. They said they just got to clip the nails and they were ready. So um, I'm just gonna go and get them. Look at the weather and it's really cold as well. And back. They've hacked my poor chihuahua. I think they were a bit busy. I don't want to go into too much detail, but they weren't very professional. And I do normally go there, but they've done this before. They're normally really good. And then they have sometimes have issues when they rush. And I think they've rushed. My poor Florence has got all long bits sticking out of her legs. You can see where they've hacked her long bits on her legs. And you think, you've paid for that. And she just looks crap. I'm really not happy. I'm not good at complaining, so obviously I won't say anything, but I really need to find somewhere else that does actually groom your dogs properly. I mean, with Winnie, it doesn't matter because she doesn't look any different, really. Um, but obviously with a long-haired dog, it's different. They need to be done properly. So she looks like she's been to the worst barbers in the world. My poor dog. And you probably all think, oh, you stop moaning, it's only a dog. But she's my little baby. And when they look rubbish, it really annoys me. So they've cut all the long bits off her ears. And ooh, I could actually cry. But anyway, my River Island delivery's come. So let's cheer up and open that. I just realised that Winnie's foot's bleeding as well. Yeah. There's blood all on my whole carpet. <sighs> really got off the rug. <sighs> Do you know, I won't be going to that dog groomers again. So mad. I think they've caught one of her claws I think sit down sit oh god you couldn't write this honestly so we now got blood to clean up is your foot bleeding what have they done to you they hurt your foot no words no bloody words there's blood absolutely everywhere I'm so cross so I think I am gonna have to let them know that I'm not happy at all terrible right I've come upstairs to open a river island parcel because I've had to put Winnie in a little cage. We only really put her in there at night. Because um, obviously I can't have her walking everywhere with a foot pouring with blood. So I've put her in a little cage and she's not happy. She's barking her head off. So I thought better do my parcel upstairs out of the way. So let's get the River Island parcel open. Here we go. Good thing about River Island, if you don't like it, you can send it back. So it doesn't really matter. We've got a really good return service. So... Here it is. It's a bright pink coat. I saw it on Trini, um, Trini of London. I started following her and her makeup looks amazing. I'm very tempted to try some of her makeup. And she was modeling this pink coat and it just looked so fabulous. So um, obviously I did order a coat last week. I ordered a green one and a beige one, but I did return them both. I loved them. Um, but I just felt I probably wouldn't wear them that much, so I retained them. So this is kind of my replacement. So let's um, open it up and have a look. I don't know if I need a bright pink coat, but, <laughs> but it certainly would be cheerful, especially on a day like today that's so miserable outside. So looks like it's wool. It's not wool. I think it's all polyester. But even though it's polyester, it's quite it's quite thick. It feels really nice fabric. So again, I've gone for a bigger size. I'm normally 12, but I've gone for 14. Um, Cause I just like my coats to be a bit oversized so that you can wear jumpers and stuff underneath it. Right, there's not much room at the top of my stairs. So I struggle a bit to show you. Um, that's it sideways. I 
again it's got those popper fastenings which I'm not overly keen on popper fastenings but it has only got one it's got pockets obviously they're stitched up at the minute but it's got big side pockets it's got turn back cuffs and then what's it like what do we think it's very pink imagine if I still had my pink car I would glow wouldn't I I quite like it actually it's quite nice I loved the green furry one that I bought because it felt so lovely but when I looked in the mirror I kept thinking it does remind me of a dressing gown and I just didn't want to spend because I think it was £120 I didn't want to spend that much and look like I was wearing a dressing gown so um, this one obviously is not a dressing gown style so I've probably come to the conclusion that dressing gown styles maybe don't suit me um, this style probably suits me a bit more I love the colour, it's so bloody cheerful. Right, I'm going to look in my long mirror, see what I think. Here I am in my long mirror. I've even found my pink shoes lot. Ta -da! <laughs> so you could wear, obviously not with socks, but you could have pink shoes on as well. It's nice, isn't it? I do like the colour, it's so cheerful. What a cheerful, cheerful coat. It's so bright. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's like a luminous pink. It's really, really nice. I think it might be slightly a bit big for me because obviously I'm normally a 12 and this is a 14 but then I think if you've got a big jumper and stuff underneath it it's nicer to be comfy whereas I think if I'd got a 12 it might have been a, a bit tight or a bit snug I'm not sure but I do like it it's lovely my mother-in-law's gone on school run she rang me up and said do you want me to do school run so it was pouring with rain so I said if you really want to you can go so she's gone on school run so that saved me one job of the day so I can leave Winnie in a cage quiet and hopefully a little paw will dry up and then by the time my hubby gets back from work we'll have a look at a little foot together bless her what a day today has been I really thought that we were going to be really cheerful today and I feel like it's just all gone wrong anyway so I'm back in my sewing room I'm rustling up another little sausage dog yeah when all else fails just go in your sewing room and do some sewing <laughs> spot the dog <laughs> I thought where's Florence and she's underneath the blanket <laughs> or a headish should I say that's how today's been just a hide under the blanket kind of day <laughs> well the groom is horrible to you <laughs> I've let Winnie out, but I've told her she's got to sit there, so in case it starts bleeding again, so she's on bed rest. You're not allowed to move, are you? You've got to stay in your bed. Right, there's my tea. So tonight I was going to have ham toasties, and then I realised that my bread was mouldy, because <laughs> I forgot to order some new brown bread, so it was my old brown bread, and it had grown fur, so I couldn't have it. So I've got a Weight Watchers wrap instead that I've actually managed to burn, um, and it's got ham and cheese in it, and then I've got lots of salad and a couple of boiled eggs, so off to enjoy my little burnt tea. I've snuck back upstairs. So I've snuck back upstairs just to try and finish another one of my little sausage dogs. He needs ears, nose, and eyes, bless him. Oh, sausage dog finished. <laughs> She's very long and very cute. Oh, it's a hard life, isn't it? <laughs> when you've had a bad haircut and you just have to hide away. Hello, it is. Final little vlog of the day. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's been a bit of a strange day, what with dog groomers and poorly people and everything else. So, Anyway, if you're still here, thanks for sticking with me. So if you do enjoy life in England, daily vlogs, handbags, shopping, and poorly people that are trying to get better, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So I love you and leave you, and I'll speak to you tomorrow, my dears. Take care. Bye.